welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Melanie and today I am here to tell you about my experience using the June 2023 Beauty Heroes box featuring Nature of Things. Um, I don't think I have made a video since the beginning of the month when I unboxed this box so sorry that you haven't seen me lately. I am going to try to get myself um, filming more regularly and um, you know yeah doing more regular videos and stuff so hopefully I'll be able to you know get better again at it um as you guys know probably life is busy with the four kids and especially the babies that are seven months old now um so like I said I'm gonna try to do more videos um this month the box included the hair hair cleanse concentrate and the hair condition concentrate um so shampoo and conditioner that were um new launches for nature of things and also, it included their Nourishing Body Cream, which looks like this. And it came with a small size of the Cleansing Body and Scalp Polish. So we got four products in this box. Um, I actually just showered. Uh, so I just used the shampoo and conditioner and the cream. So I feel very relevant with this video. Um, I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about each product and just tell you my experience and show you the textures and stuff. Um, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is the shampoo and conditioner, the hair cleanse concentrate and the hair condition concentrate. Together they add up to 250, oh no, they're each 250 milliliters and they are $72. I truly imagine that is the cost for both together, um, but if I'm wrong, I'll let you know. Um, <clears throat> okay, so they're both very dense. Um, and they're a thick concentrate, so you know, they're concentrates as it says just so you can see, like this is the consistency of the conditioner. Um, it's quite thick and it's definitely not like goopy or drippy at all. Um, you can see it here coming out of the spout too. It is pretty dense um, conditioner and same thing with the shampoo. Got a little conditioner on my finger. Um, that's like what the shampoo looks like. So you can see they're both pretty dense and I think I like their smell I think they both you know when people say a spa like smell you know there's no definition of that but I think they both smell quite nice um not floral or anything but like spa like so and they both smell a little bit different in my opinion that e than each other these are um hard I, I don't I'm not sure exactly what they're made out of but they're I guess I don't know if they're that uh like tin or metal or whatever with a just like a nice color or something I'm not sure <laughs> okay so the hair cleanse concentrate the shampoo has a cleansing and detoxifying base of coconut surfactants Moroccan lava clay and salicylic acid salicyclic acid salicylic, yeah salicylic wow that's a mouthful <laughs> um features hibiscus a natural alpha hydroxy acid which gently purifies and detoxifies and South American derived sapote fruit to nourish the scalp and soften strands. Now the hair condition concentrate, their conditioner, um, has skincare ingredients like niacinamide to, bo to boost circulation, build keratin and support hair growth and hyaluronic acid to lock in lasting hydration. I think it's interesting how we're seeing these typical skincare ingredients and hair care. Both formulas feature Swiss apple stem cells to extend the life cycle of hair follicles and support hair growth and aloe vera to replace water and boost shine. So they both have some very beautiful ingredients. Um, and the superpower ingredients in the shampoo are coconut surfactants, hibiscus, Moroccan lava clay, salicylic acid, sapote, and Swiss apple stem cells. And the conditioner has a acacia powder, I don't know if I'm saying that right, aloe vera, hyaluronic acid, hydrolyzed quinoa, niacinamide, and Swiss apple stem cells. So um, I think they have been very lovely to use and I definitely plan to use them in full. Um, I have had some dry scalp this month and I don't know if the cause is these products. I don't find them to be drying for my hair or anything, but that's just something I've noticed. I tend to only get dry scalp um, in the winter when it's like very dry here in New England. And um, so I don't really know if, like I said, if it's the shampoo and conditioner that are causing it, but I just felt like it was something to note, but I can't attribute it to that because I mainly use this, this shampoo this month and I didn't like check to see if I had dry scalp only after these or this or that. It was, it was kind of minimal. 
like a little bit here and there. So it wasn't anything that really turned me off from these products or anything. Um, and I do find them to be um, pretty pricey uh, products. I, I have used the um, Innersense shampoo and conditioner too, and I like those a lot. Um, hopefully I can remember to put the prices of those down here and I'd like to know in comparison what it would cost to get like a shampoo and conditioner from Innersense and a shampoo and conditioner we know is $72 from Nature of Things. Um, so I'm not sure if I would repurchase them on my own. I wouldn't say that I've loved them to the point of knowing, like noticing any difference with my hair that would, you know, warrant me, um, buying these on my own, but I am enjoying using them and I have like enjoyed the, the the scent and the texture and everything of them. Um, I do have to say my hair is, it's thick and wavy. So um, I don't know if these would be like more heavy for somebody with like thinner or fine hair, because I have pretty thick hair. Like I've always, um, whenever I go to, ever since I was a kid, they've always remarked on like how thick my hair is. So just as a reference point, that's the texture of my hair. Um, okay. So they also gave us, like I said, a small sample size or a small travel size of the cleansing body and scalp polish. And this is 30 milliliters and worth $22. And I actually have the big size of this, which I've used before. This came in a previous Beauty Heroes box. And this one is 150 milliliters. I actually love this. Um, let me tell you about it first. Okay, so it is an exfoliator that you can use on your body or your scalp and or. It has by, forged by fire, Moroccan Rasul clay, Fuller's earth clay, mineral rich Himalayan salt, and Jeju volcanic ash to purify, detoxify, and resurface, resurface both skin and scalp. It has Ceylon cinnamon oil, which encourages circulation and delivers rich antioxidant properties to fend off bacteria and build up while argan and olive oils moisturize and condition skin and strands. A wealth of botanicals, including organic lavender, geranium, grapefruit peel, and white sandalwood make this multi-benefit formula a deeply detoxifying, conditioning, and anti-inflammatory daily essential. Um, so what I love, I love a few things about this. Um, using it, I particularly like to use it as a scalp scrub because I kind of am more open to like wasting. I would, I don't want to like, okay, so if I used it all over my body, I would use a lot more of it, but... Um, I would prefer to use it on my scalp as like a special treatment here and there. Um, it does have like sort of like a, a nice like cinnamon smell and stuff and like the texture. I'm going to see if I can like, sh so that's what the texture looks like. It's like thick, you know, um, that kind of texture. I'm going to try to see if I can get back, get it back in. Cause I, I like love it so much. I don't even want to like, no, this is not working. <laughs> so I'll just show you. Um, it's yeah, but I just think it's awesome. It's like a thick texture. It's grainy. Love the smell. Just got some on my nose as usual. Um, the great thing about this as a scalp exfoliator is it sudses really well. So you're using it in your hair, you're scrubbing away, you're getting that scalp scrub and it's um, with water, it's sudsing like a shampoo, which is just like so nice because what I have to compare it to is the inner sense. Um, I don't know, it's their scalp scrub. And that is like cinnamon. I mean, um, it's a peppermint scent. And if it gets into your eyes and stuff, it like burns, but it doesn't um, suds at all. And once I use this product, I was like, I absolutely love this product so much more. And um, I think this is actually a product that I would repurchase to use as a scalp scrub here and there. I don't regularly exfoliate my scalp. I try to remember to do it here and there when I have a little extra time as just kind of like a special treat for the scalp. But it's just um, one of those products that probably would spend the money to have one on hand and um, maybe buy it like once a year or something like that. Um, so I am a huge fan of this. I highly recommend it, especially if you like a scalp scrub to um, suds. And their superpower, its superpower ingredients are Ceylon cinnamon, Fuller's Earth, grapefruit peel, essential oil, Jeju volcanic ash, and Moroccan Rasul clay. So now I have this on my hand, which I'll get off after and it smells great and it's also i mean it's a great exfoliator for the body i just feel like if i started to use it on my body it would be so much more surface area and it would go so much faster so i'm not a huge body exfoliator i am trying to be a little bit better with it especially because it's the summer and you know my skin is bared more um but this would be to me um an expensive type of body scrub when i could probably feel like 
I could buy a more um, like a more affordable body scrub, but keep this for like the scalp. Hope that made sense. And finally, the nourishing body cream is 150 milliliters for $48. It is a rich lotion powered by shea butter, a blend of other botanical oils, including jojoba, grapeseed, and squalane that melt into skin to deliver enduring moisture. Black pepper and its potent terpene beta cariophyllene help quell signs of inflammation and irritation. Subtly scented with, scented with exotic bergamot, vetiver, lemon, orange, and jasmine gives natural luxury leaves its lasting impression. The superpower ingredients are black pepper, grape seed oil, jojoba, olive fruit oil, shea butter, and squalane. So let me just show you the texture. Um, I have enjoyed using this lotion. It's a rich cream and has a pretty pleasant smell, like a floral scent to me. Yeah, and it's, I'm like, every time I do that. Um, but as you can see, it's like a nice texture. It's been luxurious to use. Would, so I enjoy it. I like using it, but I don't love it. It is like a floral scent that I'm not crazy about, but I like well enough to use and would definitely, will definitely be using it in full. Um, not sure if I would repurchase it. I think I'm at the point that I prefer a body oil over a lotion. So I don't really see myself purchasing this, but if I were to receive it again in the future, I would enjoy using it again. So it's one of those things that I, um, probably like the shampoo and conditioner. I would be happy if I received it again, but I might not go out of my way to repurchase it. Whereas the scalp and body scrub, I will probably repurchase this in the future. I mean, I'm gonna have these for a while because I don't do a scalp scrub often, but I could totally see myself repurchasing this. Yes, yeah, so that's my feedback for this box. I enjoy when Beauty Heroes shakes things up and does a box that isn't skincare because I, then I can just stick with like my project pan, work on my skincare, and then enjoy doing something different with like my hair care and my body care. So I like that they do that now and again. Um, I don't remember what month was the bathing culture box, but that was kind of similar. They had a shampoo, a conditioner, a body oil, and also, I just had it in my mind. What was the other thing? Um, body wash, like a shower gel. So that was cool too, to have that again, to like shake things up. So I enjoy those boxes where they stray from skincare every few months or so. I think that's great. Um, so I would love to chat with you in the comments below. Did you get the box? Have you enjoyed these products? Did you notice, um, whether they were beneficial for your hair or not? Did you like the lotion? Have you used the scalp scrub? Do you agree with me or do you not like it? I would just love to chat with you in the comments below because it's been a little too long that I've seen you guys and, um, that I've chatted about all the skincare, body care, hair care stuff. So please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, found it helpful, helpful. Click the subscribe button to be alerted when the next video comes out. I should be making a video soon for the July Beauty Heroes box. So thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.